Hello again YouTube and welcome back to Just Get A Tesla. Today I'm at Aberdeen Airport and I'm off down to London on business and leaving Mr Tesla Price here parked up in the car park and I don't need to be worried about vandalism because I'm going to be spying on the car while it's parked up here using Tesla's brilliant sentry cam system. So as a reminder if you haven't seen my previous videos on Tesla features. There are a suite of cameras up here, three of them, with different angles. There are cameras on the wings facing backwards. There are cameras in the door pillar facing forwards. There is another camera under the um, tailgate. And all of those together mean that the car is able to see what is going on around it. So what that means is that when we are going away, the car, despite being turned off, is still looking at what's going on. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into security settings, which is main menu and then safety. So you've got various different menu bits up here, but fundamentally it says sentry mode off and on. We want it on. I have it excluding my home address. There's no point videoing while I'm at home. I've got mode of one minute clip length which is about right you probably don't need any longer and then camera based detection and then view live cameras via mobile app so we're going to see more about that when we get going so i've now locked the car and i have switched off bluetooth on my phone which means that the key isn't going to work when i approach the car that means that sentry cam is going to be triggered when i start fiddling with the handles if you can ignore mr helicopter over there so i'm going to approach the car and start messing with the handles and it's not doing anything but can you see it shows you that the car is monitoring and it doesn't like the fact that i haven't got my thing when we review the video later it's going to show on the screen or on the cameras what exactly it has seen it's going to see me waving at you with the phone show in London and um, let's say I wanted to check on my car so if I go onto my app and then hit on live camera I can then see out the front of the car or I can see out of the side and see who is part next to me out the back yeah the DHL plane has gone earlier and I can even hit the dot in the middle and see inside so I have got full security coverage of everything that's around here. Plus I can also honk the horn, I can flash the lights, I can speak through the outside speaker, or I can make fart noises. So Tesla have thought of everything in terms of being able to try and keep the vehicle secure uh, when you're away from it. And also, if the car was stolen, or even if you just lost it, if you go to location, it will literally show you on the map precisely where you are now at the moment my Wi-Fi connection in here is a wee bit slow which is why it was slow in responding to that but if I zoom out that is where the car park actually is and that is the spot that I'm on so so it is very very accurate in showing you where the car is if you ever lose it or in case it gets stolen back at Aberdeen Airport and coming back to the car which has been parked up for what 37 hours something like that be interesting to see what the status is on the battery when we get in so when we parked the car up it was on 59% and it is now on 47% it appears to have done a software update while we're away, including adding on, is that Icelandic? Fantastic. 
just what we need. So if we go into the uh, sentry mode app, so onto the menu and hit dash cam. And if I go to the little menu up here, that will show you what it's recorded. And it would appear that actually it hasn't recorded very much at all, which is interesting. So yeah, there's just, um, ah, that's actually me getting in. Hang on, let's put that back on again. Yeah, there I am. <laughs> um, so basically it has burned 12% of the battery in a day and a half. And it's done that fundamentally because of something I did in settings, if I can move that across, when we got in yesterday. So what I did was I enabled camera-based detection. Now, as it says on the screen, if you can read that, it is using the cameras to check for uh, any kind of security events. That obviously is what you have to do if you have a quarter four 2022 onwards car and you don't have the ultrasonic sensors. Um, you only have the cameras. So when you have sentry mode turned on, it has got the potential to burn more power. If I had had that turned off, I suspect I would have only burned a couple of percent. Anyway, we're going to stop this right now because I want to go home and not sit in this car park all night. But I'll come back in the morning, which is going to be in about two seconds from now. It's a few days on from my trip back at home. And it's the weekend, hence looking like an absolute scruff bag. But I thought it was worth jumping back in the car to have a look at some of the dash cam videos that I've already got. Just to show you what the system's like um, when you have saved a video and you want to do something with it. As you can probably see around the edges of the screen, it is... Is that hail or snow? Either way, it's wintry, despite the fact that when I'm filming this, it's the back end of March. Yeah. Welcome to Scotland. Anyway, um, we are going to go into the Dashcam app. And if you don't know where that is, it is in your app drawer, usually over there at top left. So the Dashcam app, get rid of that. So this is giving me a list of everything that it has uh, got saved onto the system and if you didn't know there is a USB stick which is in the glove box where everything is saved on. So if we want to look at let's just click on the most recent incident I have no idea to be brutally honest why it has actually videoed this but basically you get a screen here and at the moment it's showing you the front view as you can probably see but you can click and get the rear view or you can have left or right, and you get this for any kind of video that it takes, whether it is dash cam or sentry cam. One thing that's probably worth noting is that these are currently on this 2022 car uh, only seven only 720p resolution. So they're not the highest resolution of anything that you can get, but they are thoroughly decent and usable. Um, and for me, the the left and right do seem to have a bit of a tint to them. When I first got the car, I actually was wondering, is there a bit of film or something covering them? But there isn't. It's just the way that the cameras actually work. And that might well be the way that it has to be so that it can process um, images in different lighting conditions for Tesla Vision. So I have no clue, to be perfectly honest, why it actually videoed this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and look at um, something that we took on uh, yes, let's do this one. So this is dash cam and this is an incident that I decided to keep because I thought it was uh, it was quite interesting, principally because the car nearly got sideswiped. So I am on the uh, M6 um, near Preston. As you can see, it was on the 8th of March. So you've got uh, the date, you've got the time um, and you have got all four views and this actually records a reasonable length of clip so that you're able to go, in this case, backwards from the incident and try and understand what had led up to it. And for us, the relevant vehicle is there is a camper van kind of in the middle lane in front of this uh, blue BMW. So I could go on to left and I can go on to right and go on to rear. Basically, this shows you the, uh, the environment that you're in. So in this case, I, ooh, why has it just gone backwards? So let's skip all the way forward again. So the motorway um, is four lanes. 
um, but there is a lane drop coming up ahead so lane one is going to turn into an exit lane so i'm in lane three the camper van is in lane two and um he basically moves across to go into uh, lane one which he's going to do in a second when he gets past the truck go on there you go so he moves across there and basically i follow him across and i think the mistake that i make is i go into his blind spot you can kind of see where i end up getting to where i am yeah uh, wobbling all over the place and the reason for that is let's go slightly backwards but let's also go on to a different angle so if we go on to the left hand uh, if we go on to the left hand view i basically am waiting for um him to get past the truck which you can now see in the front camera view uh, up here he there is the truck he moves across into lane one i move across into lane two there is nothing in front of him in lane one so i move across and then you can see him as we get alongside him here in just a second there yeah look you see him crossing the line twice so he nearly goes into the side of me twice and i need to do a little bit of uh bouncy bouncy and effectively so he starts to move past me but then realizes what's going on and holds back which is good of him because that could have been quite nasty because i very 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 much definitely <laughs> nearly got sideswiped by this guy but what is this for you can then plug the usb stick that's got this file on it into your computer and you can copy it and you can email it so if this had resulted in an accident or if i'd witnessed an accident and let's just find another uh, another clip of and i don't even know what this is this is for whatever reason is a video of me driving uh, through uh, dundee oh yeah that's right because i was following another uh, i was following another tesla and i just thought i want to say hello the point is that if there was an issue um then you can take the safe clip and you can email it to the police to your insurers to whatever and you've got multiple different angles to be able to uh, look at or frankly even if you just think have i done a bit of st a stupid thing there you can go back as i've just done and critique your own driving this is always on so let's just go and review the settings for a minute so if you go into safety so sentry mode first of all it is always recording when you are not in the car unless you exclude you can exclude home you can exclude work or other favorite locations where you don't need it to be recording so sentry mode basically if it either detects through the cameras or in my case through the sensors that there is something uh, happening around the car then it will record a clip and that is literally there for you to review there was nothing for me to review when we got back to aberdeen airport because literally nothing of any interest had happened but it could have done the point is that you can select how long a clip you want so you can have more than more than a minute if you want to and then with the dash cam mode you can see there's a number of different settings you can switch the whole thing off if you really want to you can have it on manual uh, you can have it on automatic and basically what this means is if the car detects some dramatic piece of driving it auto means that it will save it itself so it can record 10 minutes of video and as i say if it if it detects um uh, an accident or you're actually crashing then obviously it will um it will record it itself otherwise you can press the dash cam icon which you'll get up at the top here to be able to manually save it or quite simply i've got it set up so that when i honk the horn it will save that clip so that just gives you a nice little database of clips which in my case i haven't gone back and deleted uh, all of these offers yet but you really could do because otherwise you get something like this from the beginning of january or have i got anything older no so all i've got is um all i've got is is stuff this year but you could put in basically whatever you wanted for that so what makes dashcam work is this little usb stick which is installed already in the car when you get it in your glove box there's 128 uh, gig of storage on it um which i've not found to be a problem uh, i know some people have put much bigger uh, stick drives in there but i mean i i tend to review these clips and then take them off if i want them and then delete them um but you could in theory get something you know significantly bigger than that but this is hidden away inside your glove box and the car is always recording onto it if you've set it up that way so 
in summary, what do I make of the system? Well, how can I put it? It's free. It's built into the car. It is there and it's working all the time unless you actively choose to switch it off. And I know an awful lot of people have now gone out and bought dash cams. And I don't think that's just because they've become quite popular on uh, YouTube watching clips of accidents and things. They're a really useful thing to have if you have ever had an accident. And I've been involved in a few. Um, not my fault, but I've been able to um, get the insurers to understand that based on uh, what's actually happened and the layout of the cars and taking a few pictures and things. But what if it wasn't as clear as that? Dash cam just allows you to be able to pull the clip and then you've got something that you can just show them and say, hey, it wasn't me, it was the other guy. And then sentry cam, again, it's one of those really useful things to have because while the car is parked up, all kinds of things can happen to it. Have you ever come back to your car and found a massive dent in one of the doors? Because I have, and it was basically because somebody had just smacked their door into it and driven off. Now, if you have a Tesla and you're using sentry cam, it's going to record that because um, it detects whatever else is happening around uh, with the cameras and it will take a video and then you can come back to it. So you'll be able to see the other car that's just banged into you driving away. You're going to have that clip to be able to hand over to them and to your insurer and to then hopefully somebody is going to pay to fix your car. It's a really, really useful thing to have. Quite a few people asked me to do a video on uh, dash cam and sentry cam. So I hope this has been interesting to you. It's not really a feature I put a lot of thought into because it's just there, but it is very useful. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the bell icon, use your own version of uh, dash cam to be able to watch for more, more of my videos dropping, um, which you can if you hit the bell icon. And that is it for this one, but I'll see you very soon back here on Just Get a Tesla.